So if we want to work out the area of this blue shape, we first must make sure we have all the required dimensions. So over here we're missing this dimension and this dimension. And we can work out the missing dimensions from basic algebra. So if we know this entire length over here is 5, we can do 5 subtract 2 is 3. And for this length over here, is 5 subtract 3 is 2. So now that we have all the dimensions, we can work out the area of the blue shape. So before going on, we know that the area of a rectangle is length times height. And this is important because to solve this problem, we want to split up this shape into smaller rectangles so we can add each shape individually. So looking at this diagram, we can split the rectangle up like this. You could also choose to split it up like this. Or we can choose to split it up into three rectangles like this. All three methods are appropriate to solving this problem. However, I will be going with this example using this method. So to work out the area of this purple rectangle, it would be length times height. So the length in this case is 3 and the height is 5. So this is 15. And to work out the area of the blue rectangle, the length is 2 and the height is also 2. So this is 4. And now that we know the area of the two rectangles, we can simply add up together. So 15 plus 4 is 19. And this is unit squared. So to summarize, if you have a strange shape, you can split it up into more manageable ones. So in this case, imagine this shape was split up into two rectangles. So it looks like this. What you would do is work out the area of this one and the area of this one and just add them together and that will give you your answer.